Hey there, and welcome. So if you're watching this, I'm guessing your Mac is being a little stubborn about updating. You're in the right place. We're going to jump right in and get this sorted out so your computer is running on the latest and greatest software. Does this look painfully familiar? Yeah, that little pop-up that just says the update failed. It is so frustrating, right? You try it again, maybe you cross your fingers, and you just get the exact same result. It feels like you're totally stuck in a loop. But here's the good news. You are not stuck. There is a super reliable manual workaround that just bypasses whatever is causing that error. And in this explainer, I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So first up, before we jump into the fix, let's just take a quick second to talk about why this annoying error even happens in the first place. Okay, the very, very first thing you got to check is your storage space. Just pop open About This Mac and click on that Storage tab. You know, these big OS updates can require over 50 gigabytes of free space to do their thing. So if you're running low on space, that's almost definitely your culprit right there. But what if you've got plenty of room? Well, then the issue probably isn't on your end. It's often some kind of glitch with the download path from Apple's servers. You know, something gets corrupted or just stuck along the way. All right, before we touch a single thing, we have to run through a quick pre-flight checklist. And trust me, this part is absolutely crucial. Do not skip this. It's all about protecting your data. And I really cannot stress this enough. This is the single most important step in this entire process. Before you do anything else, please make a complete backup of your Mac. If anything goes sideways, this is your safety net. Now, you've got a few really solid options. The most common one is just using Time Machine with an external hard drive. Super easy. You could also create a full disk image with Disk Utility. Or, if you're a little more technical, you can use Apple Software Restore. Just pick one, let it run, and make sure it finishes completely. And here's a little pro tip for you. Once you've updated and everything seems fine, don't just erase that backup right away. Keep it around for a few days. You want to make sure the new OS is running smoothly before you get rid of your safety net. Okay, checklist is complete. Now we get to the fun part, the core of this whole fix. It involves a clever and maybe slightly unexpected little trick to get that update file. So why are we doing this? Well, instead of downloading the update on your Mac, which is where it keeps failing, we're gonna use a Windows or Linux PC. It's kind of weird, right? But here's the logic. The Mac's own update software has all these specific services and behaviors that can get tripped up. A simple browser download on another computer, it completely sidesteps all of those Mac-specific points of failure. It's just a clean download. So where do you get the file? You're going to head over to mrmacintosh.com. It's a really well-known and trusted site that gathers all the direct download links from Apple's own servers. You're looking for the full installer for the latest version of macOS. Go ahead and download that package file. All right, once you've got that file downloaded on your PC or Linux machine, you're ready to bring it over to your Mac and finally start the installation. And the whole thing really just breaks down into four super simple steps. We're going to transfer the file. We'll install the installer program. That's an important distinction. Then we'll run the actual OS update. And finally, we'll just check to make sure it all worked. So step one, getting that file onto your Mac. If you're comfy with networking, sure, you can transfer it over your local network. But honestly, the easiest way for almost everyone is to just use a regular old USB flash drive. Copy the file to the drive from your PC and then just plug it into your Mac. Simple. Okay, once the file is on your Mac's desktop, find that installassistant.pkg file and double click it. Now listen, this is a super important point. This step does not install the new Mac OS. 
All it does is install the installer program itself into your applications folder. So how do you know if that last step worked? Easy, just open your applications folder. You should see a brand new app in there called install macOS, whatever the new version is. If you see that, you are ready for the main event. Now you're going to double click that new macOS installer application you just found. It'll run through a few preparations and then when it's ready, it's going to ask you to restart your computer. Go ahead and click that restart button and the real OS installation will begin. After your Mac restarts, and you know, this might take a little while, so go grab a coffee, you can check that the update was a success. Just click the little Apple icon in the top left corner of your screen and choose About This Mac. The window that pops up should show you the shiny new OS version number. Okay, but what if you're thinking, I don't have a Windows or Linux computer just lying around? Don't worry, you are not out of luck. You still got some great options. You can always use a friend's computer, right? Or head down to your public library. Most of them have computers you can use, or even look for a local computer club. All you need is a machine with an internet connection and a USB port, so you can download that file to your flash drive. Now, if you do go this route, just be extra careful. You know, use a computer you trust. When you click that download link, just glance at the URL and double check that it has a real Apple address in it, like apple.com or applecdn.net. It's always a good idea to scan that USB drive for malware when you're done. And please, through this whole process, keep your Mac plugged into a power source. You do not want it dying mid-update. And that is it. You did it. By following these steps, you've completely sidestepped that horrible update error. You've taken control of the whole process, and you've successfully updated your Mac to the latest and greatest operating system. Nicely done.